Hello my dear friends, welcome back to Smart Stranger YouTube channel and I'm your favorite Sharmata back again with a new informative video. So in this video, I'm going to tell you guys few tips regarding how to survive in hostel, especially if it's your first time in a new place or in a new city and you got to live in hostel for quite a few years. So let's dive right into the video guys. Stay tuned till the end of the video. One, stay calm and get yourself slowly adjusted to their surroundings. So I'm I'm very sure the first few months of the hostel is gonna be very messy. You're not gonna like anything around you. It's gonna you're gonna complain each and everything that's happening around you. You're gonna complain about the food. You're gonna complain about the people. You're gonna complain about the rules. The fact is, it's gonna get better. You're gonna start loving the atmosphere very soon. It's just that in the first month you are so resistant to the changes around you. It's going to be fine after a few months. Be friendly to the hostel staffs, hostel warden, and also the caretakers. So make sure you're always in the good books of warden because when things get really bad, they are the ones who are going to help you. They are in the place of your parents and they are the ones who are going to help you have a better hostel life. Rule number two, open your own bank account. Manage your expenses wisely. First month of the college, or first month of the hostel life, you're gonna spend a lot of money, but make sure they are all within your budget and it does not exceed the budget limit. Know what to buy and what not to buy and make sure you use your resources carefully and wisely. Don't waste a lot of money buying useless stuff, knowing that it's not gonna last longer, okay? The, mo the most important tip of all is make it slow when it comes to friendships. It's gonna be very lonely during the first few months in hostel. But that doesn't mean that you have to be very desperate enough to fall into the bad company. No, friendships, take it very slow, unless people get to, it doesn't mean that you have to be quiet and not talk to anyone. No, it's not like that. You have to talk to every single person out there and, but make sure your closest ones are really good and take time to find who's a really good companion or a good friend. Just because you are very lonely, don't fall into the bad company. It's better being alone than in a bad company. Having a bad friendship, it's going to affect your academics and your social life and in fact everything. Be very wise when it comes to choosing friendships because it's going to affect your long-term goals. Rule number four and the most funniest tip is that don't be so lazy or don't procrastinate on doing your daily chores like doing your laundry and folding your clothes, keeping your room clean, etc, etc, etc. See, I do this mistake quite often because I don't wash my clothes for nearly a week and at the end of the week when it comes to Sunday, I feel like, oh my gosh, I have to sit and wash all these 10 to 15 clothes all at once and I'm going to be really tired, ruining my weekend. It really ruins my weekend. So I wash your clothes every two days so that your clothes don't get piled up and make sure you keep your environment clean. I mean, the room clean around you. A, a clean room gives you good vibes because not just the people, the place around you also dictates your mood. If you want to clear your mind, make sure the place or your room is at least a bit clean and don't procrastinate on cleaning your room or cupboards or even washing the clothes or folding the clothes, okay? The fifth most important tip is don't ever ever bother about the people around you it's gonna be like this not everyone is gonna like you at the first moment not everyone is gonna hate you till the end of your hostel life things are gonna get better people's opinion are gonna change it's not that you are the trouble troublemaker you are never a troublemaker it's just that people have different opinions and it needs some time to get along if you have any problem with the roommate talk it out talk it out talk it out slowly like take it step by step okay when things are out of control make sure to take a wise decision and change your room a warden is going to be very helpful when it comes to this problem because when you're already friendly to the warden you can easily you can fix things easily so don't bother anything about people around you it's gonna get better you just have to be Calm and do your own work and be at your own pace. Don't change yourself for anyone around you. But get adjusted to the surroundings. So the sixth important tip is that say no to peer pressure. 
it's a very important role saying no is very very important you can't go around people pleasing everyone around you you can't please everyone in the end of the day you will lose yourself if you start pleasing each and every single person just to make sure that they stay in our life no that's never going to happen that's never going to happen so when you feel or sense that things are wrong just say no i'm not going to do it it's completely okay to say that if you say if you think that you're going to lose a lot of friends just because you're saying no then it means that they were never real friends from the very beginning because a near a real friend will accept your opinions your real friend will not force you into something that you don't really want to do there are a lot of mishaps going to happen in when it comes to hostel life in college days your namesake friends are gonna, are going to push you into something that they think it is cool i hope you get what i really try to mean here and don't fall in the traps and ruin your future things may things may seem so cool now but it's not it, it is not what it is don't fall for bad habits no matter what because that they are not going to take you anywhere and it just messes up your social life in future so rule number 7 the most important tip is that spend some time with your parents on phone calls Make sure you talk to your parents at least once a day and tell them about how your day is, how you actually feel in a new environment. Have you uh what happened to you in all days? Tell share your stories, share your positive vibes, share your bad stories even if you have one. It makes sure they get updated about how you f- actually feel in hostel, not just okay mama, I had my dinner, yeah, it was just chapati, it was not good. No. just inform them just tell them how you actually feel make them feel better because it's the same on their side also they're going to miss you a lot just like how you miss them so and you will feel really at peace when you express all your emotions at the end of the day so it will they will make you feel that you are not alone no one is alone so they'll help you get rid of that loneliness in hostel that's it my dear friends i hope you love the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos and yeah i'll see you in the next video ciao bye bye